are you today? <laughs> that was a bit awkward. <laughs> this might be cute. But no. <laughs> I failed miserably at life again. Sorry, I have got a bit of a sore throat today. I'm slowly dying of cold in the northeast at the minute. So today's video is a tutorial which I am going to attempt to talk through. And I base it on one of my favourite books of all time now. I mean, I finished it yesterday and I've already made it one of my favourite books of all time. And that is Sarah J. Mass's A Court of Mist and Fury. This is brilliant. I thought Throne of Glass was fantastic. This is what's been missing out of my life. The characters are just brilliantly written and the story is fantastic. It's very grown up for a young adult novel. I mean, the sex scenes in it that make Fifty Shades of Grey look tame. I mean, seriously. Ooh. <laughs> it's just... Bleh. It's just, like, lost for words. It's hot. It's brilliant. And especially the scene where I've made this look come from. It's one of... It's from the Court of Nightmares scene, which is really, really hot. I mean, Reese and Fera just go for it, <laughs> to be honest. There's no other way of putting it. And I know this is going to be slightly spoilery, but I am hoping that you've read the book if you have found this tutorial. If you haven't read the book or the prequel to it, which is A Court of Thorns and Roses, do give them a read. They are just fantastically written books. And anything by Sarah J Maas, I think she can do no wrong. She really knows how to write characters and she knows how to make stories that grip people from page one. I mean, they're just brilliant, brilliant written books. Okay, so the scene that I've based this on is actually from The Court of Nightmares where Moore and Armand do Vera's makeup to make her look very night court-ish. <laughs> I don't know how to say that really. But Vera's got to go down there with Resand, the High Lord of the Night Kingdom. Is it the Night? The Night Court, sorry. And they've just got to try and pretend to be complete arseholes, <laughs> to be honest. And she just looks so beautiful in the scene. She feels beautiful. And it's probably one of the first times she's actually worn makeup in her life. Because if you know from Court of Thorns and Roses, she's come from poverty. And her sisters pretty much just take all the money. She's left just to hunt. And this probably is the first time she's worn makeup in her life. And Maud's just made her look absolutely stunning. And Rhysand probably finds her quite hot as well. <laughs> I mean... If you've read that scene, you know he finds her really beautiful. That's all I'm going to say. So, before I spoil the entire book, and it's just know that it's a really good book, and this makeup look, I hope you like it. It's completely drugstore, so very affordable makeup, and I will leave everything that I've used in the description box below. And let's get on with it before I ramble anymore, because <laughs> my voice cannot take much more strain. <laughs> I will see you at the end of the video guys, bye. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face with whatever's left of my number 7 airbrush away primer. I know this is one of the high, more expensive drugstore products but it still technically counts as drugstore because it's boots as all make. I'm just going to blend this into my face. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face with whatever's left of my number 7 airbrush away primer. I know this is one of the high, more expensive drugstore products, but it still technically counts as drugstore because it's boots as all make. I'm just going to blend this into my face. So once the primer is set into my face, I'm going to go in with foundation. And the only drugstore one I could find in the house was a Maybelline one, which is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. This is my mum's, but as far as I remember, that was the shade I used to wear. So I really hope this doesn't look too dark on me. <laughs> I really hope not. I'm just going to take two pumps on the back of my hand. And not put the gel eyeliner on the top of it, which I was about to do there. And I'm just going to take my Morphe buffing brush and massage this into the skin. Just move my hair out of the way first. Yeah, it might be alright. Ok, 
kit and I don't actually have a drugstore concealer so I'm just going to use my damp blending sponge just to buff that in a little bit or make this look a bit better because I have just finished night shifts the other day so my eye bags are quite out at the minute so I'm just going to make sure this is all blended in nicely So for the face, I'm going to use Tiny Bear's Peachy Glow Palette. I'm going to just use the bronzer and the blush in this because I've got something else for the highlighter. And yeah, let's get a little bit of glow on my face. Because I think if she's going down to the night court, she's wanting to impress people. So let's chisel out some cheekbones. I'm just going to add a little bit of flush to my cheeks now with the apricot shade. If you've read that saying in the book, you know why her cheeks are flushed. It is still one of the hottest scenes in the book, honestly. Okay, now for highlighter. And I've had my eye on this for so long and finally got a hold of it. This is the Sleek, well, sorry, the sleek Highlighting Palette in Solstice. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous, sorry if that's blinding you, but for this look I'm going to use the purple shade just for something different. <laughs> Dust it on my cheekbones. Oh! Oh that is some fairy cheekbones, whoa! I like it. <laughs> God people weren't kidding when they said this was good. Whoa! That just looks so pretty. Okay, so that is the face done. Now it's on the main part of what I think this look focuses on, and that is the eyes. So just to define them a little bit, because I can't use my benefit products, I'm gonna go in with another Tanya Bear product, which is the Perfect Brows Kiss. And I'm just gonna take, well, I'm gonna mix pebble and hot cocoa and just use that in my brows and I have just had my eyebrows waxed and tinted the other day so it's so much easier to actually see them but they are really sparse so I need to fill it in oh. for the actual eye and this is where the most description came in the book was that she had quite a defined eyeliner and I just I know it doesn't say it in the book but I can just imagine the rest of the lid being quite shimmery so I'm going to take another slate palette and this is the, one of the eyeless ones for some reason Boots and Superdrug have different collections this is the Boots one and I just thought this was quite pretty it's the Diamonds in the Rough one and it's just absolutely gorgeous rose gold regular gold eyeshadows and just because i want a little bit of shimmer on the eye i'm just going to dust one of these over the eyelid i'm going to take the shades princess and trillion and just mix them and put them over the actual eyelid and i'm just going to take one of the zoeva brushes for this i hope these look pretty i haven't used them yet Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Just something very subtle on the actual lid. Because the main focus is going to be winged eyeliner. Right, this is the bit I'm probably not going to get on camera because you know how bad I am with mirrors and eyeliner. But I'm just going to stick with a little bit of glitter as well. Just because I want to. And this is the Superliner Ultra Precision in gold. This is so pretty. And the gold isn't too out there as well the black is the main focus but just has little flecks of gold in it which really makes the eyes pop so i'm sorry if i don't get this on camera i will try Not 
too bad. That's what I'm leaving it as. It just a quick flick over that way. Right, so she uses, well, I get the impression that they use false lashes on Fera, but I'm just going to use a mascara because false lashes do scare me a little bit. <laughs> and I'm just going to use another Maybelline product, the Last Sensational. I'm going to use the Maybelline Last Se <laughs> I can't say Lash Sensational, damn it. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, third time lucky. And I'm just going to use this to add a bit of volume to my lashes. This is an alright mascara, I will admit, but it's not the greatest. I still prefer my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. But this is a drugstore look, so we're going to have to make do. Okay, now to finish off the look, because that is now the eyes done, I'm going to use a lipstick. And because Fera uses red lipstick in this scene, I'm going to use Tanya Bear's Big Kiss lipstick. This is absolutely, actually a really gorgeous colour, and it's very similar to Urban Decay's Bad Blood, which is one of my favourite lipsticks, but drugstore version. And it's a lot cheaper. I'm just going to take the pigtails out because this looks too cutesy for the night cart. Oh, and I should have some nice wavy hair afterwards. So that is the finished look guys. What do you think? Is this something that Arisa would find attractive? Probably not because Famous is mate but I have tried. I'll probably be able to get an Illyrian soldier though, hopefully. <laughs> I'm too weird. But I hope you do enjoy the look guys. If you haven't read the book, please read the book. It is fantastic. You will never look back and I really cannot wait until May, March, whenever the third book comes out. I really, really need Resan back in my life. He is just brilliant. <laughs> If you have any ideas for future tutorials, please leave them down below in the comments. I mean, I was thinking about doing an Amarin or a Manon or even an Aelin, which is from another Sarah Mass book. But I will, if you do want to see any of these looks, please let me know and I'll get on to it. But for now, enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye!